The law of accelerating returns, superintelligence, and the technological singularity. The law of accelerating returns is an evolutionary process stating that 1. The rate of technological innovation is exponential, and 2. Innovation is accelerated through the use of newer technologies. The printing press device, while it has had prominent industrial capabilities, was soon overtaken by the linotype and barely 50 years later, Alan Turing created his famous Turing machine, the basis for all modern computational technology. This example perfectly illustrates the dynamics of the law of accelerating returns and highlights an important trend. The acquisition of knowledge is, in itself, exponential. Superintelligence and the Technological Singularity At today's rate of innovation, we can expect to see a century's worth of progress in approximately 25 years. The law of accelerating returns predicts that at some point in time, likely within the next century, humanity will encounter a technological singularity. This singularity presupposes that the rate of technological growth and innovation will surpass human abilities to control it and comprehend it. To prepare for the technological singularity, there are several paths to superintelligence. 1. Artificial General Intelligence Once artificial general intelligence is achieved, superintelligence will necessarily follow. It is likely that the computational processing speeds and information storage capacity of an AGI would outperform those of a human brain. As such, AGI information acquisition and learning would see exponential enhancement over time, eventually birthing a computational superintelligence. 2. Gene Editing Technologies Gene editing technologies, like CRISPR and biological enhancement, can find specific genes that underlie the development of various cognitive traits associated with human intelligence. Once we uncover these specific genes, we can select them in human embryos and artificially curate a class of biological humans that represent the intellectual pinnacle of humanity. While biological enhancement generates a number of ethical problems, this approach may be necessary at the dawn of the technological singularity to ensure that humans keep up with innovation. 3. Whole Brain Emulation If WBE became possible, we would theoretically be able to create functional computational replicas of individual human brains, which could then be uploaded into an interactive cloud-based virtual environment. Such a system would have human-level intelligence in conjunction with the ability to store, access, and process information much faster than the biological human brain. This version of superintelligence, although unlikely given our current brain imaging technologies, could be the safest alternative. 4. Cyborgization Brain-computer interfaces could, in theory, allow us to form a hive mind. If we gathered the smartest individuals on Earth and gave them all BCI implants that somehow allowed them to transfer their vital skills and knowledge to each other via wireless communication, we could build a biotechnological conglomerate superintelligence. Where does this leave us? The existential risk posed by technological singularity is enough to justify a serious inquiry now. When the technological singularity occurs, it will not be gradual, but rather explosive. If we are not adequately prepared, we might find that the entire existence of humanity is threatened, possibly to the point of extinction. Thank you for